And when John writes his gospel, he focuses on rich accounts of Jesus' one-on-one ministry with individuals. John begins his gospel with three famous one-on-one stories, Jesus and Nicodemus, Jesus and the woman at the well, and Jesus and the man at the pool of Bethesda. Now, John also ends his gospel with three one-on-one interviews, Jesus and Pilate, Jesus and Thomas, and Jesus and Peter. Now, what was John telling us? The answer to this is to study the story of Jesus and Doubting Thomas in John 20. As you read the Gospel of John, Thomas is the negative one, the one expecting the worst. Let us also go that we may die with him. Thomas soberly said when they went to Lazarus' tomb in John 11, only to watch Jesus raise Lazarus from the dead. See, Thomas was just like a modern man. He had a hard time believing all this stuff. So when Jesus himself died on the cross, Thomas figured things had ended up pretty much like he expected, from bad to worse. But then Peter and John came running into the room to say they had just seen Jesus again, alive. But Thomas would have nothing to do with it. He said, unless I shall see in his hands the imprint of the nails and put my finger into the place of the nails and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, note the specific detail here. Jesus walked into the room where Thomas was and said, peace be with you. And directly to Thomas, he said, reach here your finger and see my hands and reach here your hand and put it into my side, and be not unbelieving, but believing. Thomas did so, and came to faith, saying, My Lord and my God. Jesus then answered with words that echo still today, Because you have seen me, have you believed? Blessed are they who did not see, and yet believe.